Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We finally have all my camera equipment back, uh, all my cameras, my drone, stuff like that. The police still have my computer and my phone, but at least we can still uh, take photos again and start vlogging again consistently. So I got a bit of a different one today. I'm actually gonna be selling one of my cars this weekend. So we're gonna start with a bit of a detail on that because it's a bit filthy. And then we're gonna go take some photos of it. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to sort of get the best money for your car when you're looking at selling it. So, you know, detailing it properly and getting the right kind of photos and also putting the right kind of things online. So I've sold a few cars before. I've had probably four or five cars now and I always usually get a pretty good price for them when I'm selling except that Subaru that I crashed and got a thousand dollars for once that was that was that was bad but um yeah we're gonna get into it so we're gonna start with a detail we're gonna give it a really nice soapy rinse and we're gonna make sure all the rubbish is out of the interior we're gonna clean up the engine bay a little bit even as well we're gonna get in there the vacuum make sure everything is nice and sweet and perfect for when we take the photos of it so let's go give it a clean so in case you were worried no we are not selling the s13 this is my 2013 mark 7 vw golf tsi 1.4 turbo and honestly it's been incredible to me i've had it for about two years now and luckily i got mechanical warranty on it because in that time i've put a new turbo in it a new gear selector in the gearbox the whole gearbox had to be taken out recently uh, but yeah new turbo water pump like 12 grand or something um, worth of repairs and maintenance to this thing and i only paid a thousand dollars for the mechanical warranty so Another pro tip, if you're going to buy a Euro, especially in New Zealand, if it's a bit older, make sure you get mechanical warranty if it doesn't have the factory. Like I paid a thousand dollars for two years and it paid off like 12x. So yeah, but I have absolutely loved this car. When I'm not driving it like an absolute dickhead, it gets over 800 kilometers per tank. Unfortunately, even though it's a 1.4, you have to put 98 in it. So a tank is still like 110, dollars So I haven't done any mods to this car except for this replaced CarPlay stereo here. So what I actually did, uh, this just had an old stereo, you know, Bluetooth, whatnot. And what I did, I went on AliExpress and I found a refurbished 2018 Golf R CarPlay system and that was like $300 and I just ripped this one out and put that one straight back in and that's probably my well my only pretty much my only interior mod and my favorite one as well you can see the map on here you can Spotify and it's sick the other mod that I really wanted to do to this car but never actually got around to it is tinting it because especially with this leather interior which is actually really rare um, when I was on the market for this car I couldn't find a single car that had the leather trim interior and the steering wheel and everything is just super nice but you know especially with that leather interior when the sun comes in in summer it gets in ridiculously hot and you know even just touching the shift lever or the seats or the steering wheel is ridiculous so i really should have gotten it tinted even with just like a ceramic tint but yeah never really got around to doing that instead i changed the exhaust so all i did for the exhaust was a simple muffler delete it cost like 300 dollars and basically just chop the muffler off and put a straight pipe where that used to be. Uh, actually, I think I took out the resonator as well and replaced it with a, a way smaller resonator. But when you used to start it up, it would sound like nothing. You literally could not hear the motor at all while you were driving, which is nice sometimes. But you know, I wanted to be able to shift gears and get those uh, DSG farts, which surprisingly, this 1.4 liter does really well. And when it starts up, it sounds pretty grumbly. Not bad for a 1.4 litre, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, those are the only mods I've done. Um, I picked up this car two years ago, almost exactly. And yeah, it's been an amazing car, but basically I don't drive nearly as much as I used to. Um, the work I used to do, which was like real estate photography, and when I was full-time self-employed, I drove over a thousand kilometers a week. So, you know, I needed a really, really reliable and really low gas mileage car. Uh, this thing gets 65 miles per gallon. I don't even know what that is in like kilometers per liter or whatever, but it is crazy good. But now I want kind of a, still, it's still gonna be a daily, but it'll be a much more fun daily. And I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is until I get it, if I get it, because I have made an offer, but I haven't actually uh, bought the car yet. But I'll tell you that it's manual. So <laughs> I'm gonna have uh, two manual cars. One is my daily and it's quite a reliable car, but it also, it's gonna sound sick and it is not turbo. I'll tell you guys that, but it is still European. So I'll give you guys those hints. Let me know down below what you think the new car could be. Uh, but yeah, let's get onto the clean.
finally cleaned the entire car like almost an hour later and uh, yeah time to dry it uh, I gotta be quick because it's just sitting in the sun and usually you should have it in shade but yeah wheels are looking amazing paint's looking way better and uh, yeah time to dry it Finished cleaning the car, looks fucking mint. Uh, chucked the big lens on the Sony, so we're gonna go down to a car park or something nearby, uh, somewhere where we can get either shots in the shade or shots in the sun, so that we kind of have a choice depending on how the car looks. Uh, definitely recommend chucking a polarizer on if you can for your photos, even if you're just using a phone. Uh, chucking a polarizer on will cut the reflections and make it just look way better in general. So yeah, I'll see you wherever we decide to go take photos. All right, so we just got here to the car park and uh, because it's like, you know, early afternoon, the sun's pretty much still in the middle of the sky, so it doesn't really matter uh, like which way we face it. Um, I would just say just get like, you know, something something in the background, you don't want too much distracting shit. And uh, if you can, if you've if you got a camera, even if you have an iPhone, zoom it in um, pretty far as much as it can optically zoom, not digitally. And uh, yeah, I'll just get pretty much every angle and some good details with a long lens and then we'll switch it up to the wide angle lens, get a wide shot of the interior and yeah, just like, you know, I think Trade Me has a maximum of like 18 photos, so I'm going to get at least 18 or 20 photos. to the outside now I'm just gonna set up the inside for some shots I uh, got the car play like you know turned on and showing it that it has the map and the, the podcasts and all that stuff um, just what it does and then uh, getting some shots of like the odometer and you know all that sort of stuff show the features on the inside for example this car has like automatic handbrake uh, you can change the modes uh, auto on and off stuff like that um, and also something really important for the outside is to get like every single angle, so front on, front three quarter right, front three quarter left, both sides straight on, back straight on, every corner, uh, you know, every wheel if possible, uh, engine bay, uh, you know, you want to be able to see the back seats, front seats, you see everything, and not really like artsy shots, you want them to be just really clear, um, you know, for example, there's like a, uh, a scratch in the paint or like some paint chipping on the back of this car and you know if I don't put that if I don't disclaim that online and someone comes to view it they're gonna just either try barter me down or be pissed off or both all right so the car's mint I uh, got the photos listed it on trade me listed it on Facebook and uh, yeah the only really other thing I can say is like Make sure that, like, you know, when you show uh, your car online, like, there's no point trying to hide the shit. Like, you know, you saw on the back of my car, there's a few scratches, there's a few uh, stone chips here and there. The wheels are a little bit curved, so I've put all those in the description and I've shown photos of them because otherwise you're just gonna waste your time. People come and they're like, oh, they'll try to haggle you or you know other shit. So I just always say it uh, straight up. And uh, yeah, so hoping to get a reasonable price for this. I've got it on a one dollar reserve and. Uh, it's only been like a few hours and it's already up to five grand. Uh, pretty stoked about that. So yeah, it should be sold in the next week or so hopefully. And then if my offer goes through on this other car, the next vlog should be us going to pick that up and I'll probably do like a little review of it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below and let me know in the comments what you think the new car could be. So remember it's V6 manual and European. So there's, there's not too many of those. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.